Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we will understand how to set up Webhook inside Google Ads. Webhook acts as a bridge to connect applications and it helps to deliver the data to other applications as an event happens. So in this video, I'm going to tell you that how you can get your new leads from your Google lead form inside Pabli Connect. Now suppose that you have created a lead entry form in your Google Ads account and you are running some campaigns. Now you want that whenever you are going to receive a new lead through Google Ads, you want to capture the lead details inside Pabli Connect. So now in order to set up this webhook inside Google Ads, here in Pabli Connect, I will go to my trigger window and over here I am going to search for Google Ads as my trigger application. Here it is. And the trigger event will be new lead form entry. So as I've selected my trigger application and the trigger event, here you can see that a webhook URL is given and along with that a help desk is given. So read this help desk given below carefully because this webhook URL is going to act as a bridge to connect your Google Ads account with Pabli Connect. So now in order to do that, I'm going to take you to my Google Ads account. So this here is my Google Ads account and currently I'm going to show you that how you can add a lead form in your Google Ads. So over here I'm going to simply scroll down and over here I'm going to search for more asset types and over here in more asset types I will scroll down and go to this lead forms. So over here I'm going to click on lead forms. So as I did that over here I'm going to create a lead form. So here you can give the headline let's say I'm giving the headline as thread and go and I'm going to mention the business name as well. So let's say the headline goes as thread and co lead form. So scrolling to the description, you can add the description as well. So now over here, I'm going to select the questions that I want to ask. So here I'm going to ask the name that will be first name and the last name. I'm going to ask for the email and the phone number. So once I've selected these fields, this is how the form looks like. I'm going to scroll down. So now in order to set up a webhook inside this form, I need to go to this lead delivery option. So by going to this lead delivery option over here, I'm going to integrate the webhook over here in this field. So it says send lead form data directly to your CDM or CRM software in real time. So as I want to send the lead form data to Pabli Connect, so over here I need to mention the webhook URL. So from Pabli Connect, I'm going to copy the webhook URL and over here I'm going to paste the same. So here I'm going to mention a dummy key that will be this. So as I've mentioned the webhook URL, that means now whenever I'm going to receive a new lead through Google Ads, then automatically the lead data will be sent to Pabli Connect. So currently I'm not running any live campaign in Google Ads. So that is why I'm going to send the test data. But if you are running live campaigns, you also have to follow the same process in order to build a connection between Pabli Connect and Google Ads. You have to follow the same process to add the webhook URL over here in this form. So as I've added the webhook URL and mentioned the key. So here in Pabli Connect also, you can see that it is waiting for webhook response. So as I've already mentioned that there is no live campaign in my Google Ads account currently. So I'm going to send the test data. But if you are running campaigns, whenever this workflow is going to run in real time, then automatically you're going to get the lead details in Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to click on send test data. It says test data sent. That means the test data would have been sent to Pabli Connect. So I'm going to take you to Pabli Connect. And yes, over here you can see that just now I have received the response and over here I've got the test response details. So this here is the test phone number. Over here is the test email and this over here is the test last name and this here is the test first name. So over here in Pabli Connect, I've successfully got the test response from Google Ads. So that means now whenever I'm going to receive a new lead through Google Ads, then automatically that lead will get captured over here in Pabli Connect. So this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. So as I've got the lead details, now I wish to add those lead details in a Google Sheet. So in order to do that, I will go to my action window and over here I'm going to search for Google Sheets as my action application. And now the action event will be to add new row. Here it is. So now I'm going to click on connect. And now in order to add a new connection, you just have to sign in with your Google account. So here I'm going to click on continue as this is a secure access. 
and you can see that the authorization was successful. So here you can see that Google Sheets and Pavli Connect is connected. So now moving to the select spreadsheet part. So this here is the Google Sheet that I've created by the name of Google Ads Leads and over here it consists of four columns and only of one sheet. So I want to add the Google Leads detail in this Google Sheet. So over here in Pavli Connect from this drop down, I'm going to select my spreadsheet and it has automatically detected the sheet that is sheet one. So now here in Pabli Connect moving to these details. So here to mention the details in these fields, I'm going to use a method that is called as mapping. So basically mapping means to insert the data from previous steps. So as I've received this response from Google Ads, so that is why over here in these fields, I'm going to map it from that response. So as you can see that I have mapped the details in these fields. So this method of mapping is important so that every time you're going to receive a new response, so that response could be taken into consideration in these fields. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information could have become static, which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received a new response. So to avoid that problem, we map the information. So as I've mapped the details here, I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see that just now I have received the response and this here is a positive response. So now I'm going to take it to my Google Sheet. So here in this Google Sheet, you can see that the Google Ads lead data is successfully added over here in a new row. So here you can see the test response details. Here's the first name, last name, email and the phone number. So that means now whenever I'm going to receive a new lead through Google Ads, then automatically the lead details will be sent to Pabli Connect and then it will be added in my Google Sheets in a new row. So we have successfully set up Webhook inside Google Ads. That means now whenever I'm going to receive a new lead through Google Ads, then automatically that lead will get captured over here in Pabli Connect and then the lead data will be added in Google Sheets in a new row. So here, as currently I was not running any live campaign, but even if you are, the process is going to remain the same. You just have to connect that webhook with Pabli Connect in order to send the data over here and then you can add it to further applications as well. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications and create amazing automations by using Pabli Connect. So you can reach us at support at the rate If you have any queries, you can write us to https.forum.pabli.com and for pricing related issues, you can visit this link. So you can create a lot more automations by using Pabli Connect and don't forget to share these videos with your friends, colleagues. Subscribe to our channel for more.